So it's uh, to educate our community. Uh, a lot of people don't know what Juneteenth is. Uh, we've got together uh, a lot of resources. We put some educational information, some pamphlets, some uh, you know people who you know really did their research on this. Um, Juneteenth we feel is important. It's a it's a you know it's Freedom Day. It's uh, something that the, the black culture needs to needs to know, especially our children. We've been fighting for the equality for over 150 years, even after the war itself. So we were free on paper, but we weren't free on land. Exactly. So um, Juneteenth began trying to uh, get our people together to get our own economic stance in the world. It's, and so, you know, I, I, I kind of feel so Juneteenth, you know, he, and, and he's right. So uh, slaves were free, but it didn't get to certain parts of uh, America at the time. A lot of the southern states were uh, kind of closed off from that until uh, you know that union uh, came in there and actually told them. But it even goes you know, further than that. The, the, the further education after that, the peenage that happened after that. Um, so even though that that happened and uh, Juneteenth happened after that peenage was going on. So that means that people were getting forced into slavery for owing a debt that they may not even have had. You know what I mean? Though these are a lot of things that I sit around and tell my kids and you know, that our community needs to understand because it just doesn't stop at the Emancipation Proclamation and Juneteenth and then the things that happen after that. It's the ripple effect and the things that happen uh, that were going on, the, you know, the crimes, and it, and basically, like, that were going and on. I would like to add, like he said, it was like loopholes like that that allowed people to be imprisoned to this day. And Thank get, you, Amanda. And, um, yeah, they are imprisoned to this day and they're doing labor at low cost. It's basically modern day slavery. It's just a little bit of education that we would like to get out there. Everybody needs to do their own research. We, we challenge you to do your own Definitely. research. You know, educate us. If there is a question, bring it upon us. You know, some brothers in the group, we will definitely be more than open to a conversation. Because uh, it's a thing that uh, uh, Juneteenth wasn't even recognized in New York State until two days ago, three days ago. It's a holiday. Today. Uh, yeah, as a holiday. It's a holiday. It's still not a national holiday. So that's something we still have to work towards, you know, to be known by the world as, you know. It's American history at the end of the day. It's American history, you know what I mean? And, and it plays a part into our story. You know, and every day, 36 years of my life, I felt that ripple effect. We all have, you know? So everyone's, it's, it's hard to talk about the past, you know, whether it's shame or whatever else. But the only way to move past it is to acknowledge what happened experience that truth and move forward with a better better plan. And that's what we're doing. You know, we're not waiting for someone else to create that better plan. We're doing it the best way we know how through our life experience. And that's with our community, our youth, and positivity.